Hi there, I'm Beth and today I have a free sewing pattern and tutorial for you. We'll be making this long-sleeved, fully lined top for the midi-sized Blythe. I think it's a great basic pattern to have and you could add a skirt to the bottom to turn it into a dress instead. As you see here, it's fully lined, including the sleeves, so it could easily be made reversible too. The back closure could be finished with snaps, buttons or velcro, whatever your preference. Start by downloading and printing out the pattern. I've copied mine onto cereal box card. I trace and cut out my fabrics, except for these two areas, the neck hole and the back opening. Just cut across the top like this for now. I've cut the lining and the facing from lightweight cotton, white lining and tiny floral facing. Lay them right sides together and pin, and leaving a 5mm seam allowance, sew along each of the cuffs here and here. I use a pretty small stitch length. Then, sewing along the line drawn here, the neck hole and the other side too. Being sure to leave a little space between these two corners, enough to be able to cut between them afterwards. Here my seams are sewn and now I'll cut away the excess seam allowance at each cuff. I'm cutting them roughly in half to minimise bulk. Next I cut away the excess here, being careful not to cut any stitches. Cut out the neck hole, then cut small slits into the seam allowance to ease the fabric. Find one of your upper back corners like this and flip it right side out. Then tuck it down into the gap between the lining and facing of the sleeve. As you do, fold the sleeve in half, right sides facing, along the length, like this. You'll find the lining matches up with itself here. Pin it and push the cuff seam allowance towards the lining. Pin the sleeve, line up the facing fabric here and pin it too. We'll repeat that for the other side and sleeve. You should now have this funny looped arm shape with the sides poked in to the middle. I'm going to use red thread to tack stitch a temporary running stitch along the seams we'll be sewing next. I sew this about two millimeters from the raw edges. Here's my temporary stitching. I find it easier to maneuver through the sewing machine without pins. These are the two seams we'll sew, closing in the sides and the sleeves at each side. I've sewn them at the machine and will now make snips into the seam allowance at the armpits. And we'll trim away about half of the seam allowance too. My temporary stitches are being cut away, but you could unpick them first.
Next, you'll want something like these hemostat, like needle nose pliers or tweezers. Push into the sleeve from the front here and try to grab the sleeve from the inside. I use my nail to tuck it in. Pull the sleeve out and you should find the lining comes to inside the sleeve. I use the hemostat to open out the sleeve and align the lining nicely. Make sure your corners are still shaped out properly too. Repeat this for the other sleeve, entering from the front. It's looking much more like a top now, isn't it? All we need to do now is tuck in and sew the seam allowance for the lower hem. I like to push the seams towards the middle for the lining. Fold it in about 5mm and pin. Then fold the seams away from the middle for the facing fabric, fold and pin. I then open out and tuck in the seam allowance at either end, pinning through both layers this time. I'm making sure the lining doesn't show from the outside, trying to get them even. I then return to the middle, remove a pin and replace the other through both layers. Now it's all secured, you can either hand sew this closed or run it through the machine, stitching very close to the edge. I chose to machine stitch this one and while there I added a simple velcro fastening to the back. Let's check the fit on my mannequin here. Oh, lovely. Just the right length for the arms, although feel free to adjust your pattern to make yours longer or shorter. I tried my top on my Ms. Bear BJD as well, since I remarked that she's a similar size to Midi when I opened her. The top fits her well, the sleeves are just a touch long with her arms down, but look perfect with arms up. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and will go and grab your free digital pattern from the link in the description. Have fun sewing your own. Don't forget to share your makes using the hashtag BethRamsdenCrafts so that I can share your work in my videos. Until next time, take care. Bye!